One of the towns where neighborhoods were destroyed by Hurricane Sandy is finally getting help 10 years later. The work will prevent extreme flooding from ever happening again. New South New Jersey's Chris Keating live in Union Beach tonight with more on the plan here, Chris. Brittany, good evening. We are just shy of 10 years since Raritan Bay flooded Union Beach and still you can find the occasional homeowner who is rebuilding and by rebuilding, I mean building up above sea level, similar to this house just behind me with its massive concrete foundation. Now, for those who stuck it out in Union Beach and rebuilt these plan improvements that we're talking about, they've been expected for years now. One of those homeowners is Laura Hallam, whose house is on Brook Avenue. She moved back in in 2015 after rebuilding on top of pilings, placing her 18 and a half feet above sea level. Well, everybody now has a window with a view. In 2012, this was the house that she was living in, right on the very same piece of property, a nice two story house. And then Sandy came along and this is the following morning where the second floor was in the street. The bottom floor was washed away. All of the houses on this street were washed away, often leaving behind only homes front steps. Since then, many have been rebuilt. There was a wall of water that just came right in. And as it came in, it took whatever was in its path back out. Throughout Union Beach, you'll find portions of driveways which once led to houses that were never rebuilt. You can still see abandoned homes and vacant lots. And of course, homes rebuilt with massive foundations to protect against floodwaters. Brook Avenue sits along the Flat Creek. When the Army Corps of Engineers returns to work, the plan is to rebuild a jetty that darts into the bay. Another will be built on the other end of town at Dock Street. And along Front Street, best known for the beach on the bay, dunes will go up. With money coming from Congress, it's a $50 million project locals say is long overdue. The Army Corps will do the work in fall. Laura Hallam says they were here once before to work on Flat Creek. Well, the Army Corps has dredged. They replaced this bridge, but <laughs> it still gets flooded. But nothing like that day in October of 2012. As we took in the view of Flat Creek and her home right across the street, I asked, what's it like looking back 10 years on? I can't believe that's my house, <laughs> number one. It just still seems a little surreal. As we mentioned, the Army Corps of Engineers will be back in Union Beach to do this work in fall. It should be noted that is right in the heart of hurricane season. In Union Beach tonight, I'm Chris Keating, News 12 New Jersey.